Well, there's a lot going on in the world, from economic crises to endless wars, but in the mainstream media world, none of that stuff matters. Wiener Gate's over, but to, that's to their dismay, actually. But luckily, the trial of Casey Anthony continues. It's breaking news at this hour from Orlando in the Casey Anthony murder trial. The judge recessed court until tomorrow morning. There was supposed to be a full day of testimony today, but proceedings were delayed from the start, and the judge not happy about it. And a bombshell this morning in the Casey Anthony murder trial. The judge pulls the plug on any more testimony today and then scolds the lawyers for both sides. Enough is enough. In Orlando, the judge in the Casey Anthony murder trial canceled testimony for today. He spent the morning scolding the lawyers for what he called gamesmanship. Now, it's been literal non-stop ogling of the girl for the past few months. Ogling and, of course, judging. You know, the moralistic, paternalistic mainstream mob just cannot get enough of showing you pictures of attractive young females and figuring out where it all went wrong. You just wait until the Amanda Knox hysteria picks back up. I've already seen a number of reporters doing live shots from Italy because that's what's worth spending money on to make sure that you have reporters on the ground to cover every last detail. Again, the corporate interests dumbing you down, clearly winning out. If they didn't, then do you know what the mainstream media would be covering right now? How about a new report put out by the AP on our nuclear power industry? After a lengthy investigation, what they found isn't pretty. And that's because, as usual, it involves corruption. A collusion between government and industry that's allowed nuclear plants to keep operating despite some incredibly valid safety concerns. And you want to know why they keep operating? That's because industry convinces the regulators to lower the standards. See, when valves leaked, they just changed the standards to allow 20% more leakage. When, quote, rampant cracking caused radioactive leaks from steam generator tubing, an easier test of tubes was devised. See, every time that something goes wrong, the nuclear industry runs to the Congress, points fingers, says that these regulations are far too conservative, and then they get them changed. Now, most of our nuclear power stations were built in the 60s and the 70s, and they were only meant to last 40 years. But do you know what else the AP found? That 66 of the 104 operating units have been relicensed for 20 more years. Now, considering what the entire world just witnessed in Japan at the Fukushima plant, you'd think that the media would pay a little more attention to an investigation like this, especially when there's flooding going on right now in Nebraska, right near the Fort Calhoun and Brownville nuclear power plants. Calhoun's been shut down, Brownville's operating at only 30 percent, and both have described the situation as merely an unusual event. Now, personally, I'd like a little more detail into what's going on, wouldn't you? After the AP's investigation, I definitely don't trust the government to do it, but apparently you can't trust the media either. Could be their laziness, could be the fact that they don't want to actually have to do any investigating, or it could be something else. Like maybe the money that comes from advertisements that play on their news channels. Today, nuclear energy provides one-fifth of America's electricity. Tomorrow, it could supply even more. And nuclear power plants don't emit greenhouse gases, so they preserve our environment. We need to reduce our dependence on foreign energy. And we also need clean air. With nuclear energy, we can do both. Yeah, I'm not totally sure which one it is. Could be both laziness and serving the corporate overlords, but in the meantime, that's what your mainstream media has been missing.